We're going to tell here at the National Farm Machinery Show. Uh, one of the biggest attractions here today has been walkabout mother bins. And here to talk about it is Dave Head. Dave, how's it going? Yeah, great. It's great to be here at the National Farm Machinery Show. So you must be pretty excited. A lot of traffic here today, a lot of interest in your machine. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to miss. We're close to the biggest exhibit, I think, but uh, it's the traffic has been amazing. The people have been amazing. It's been wonderful to come out this side of the country and, and uh, show off our product. So for people who don't know much about the bins, um, break it down for us. What, we, what do we have here? Like 4,000 bushels of portable storage, right? Correct. So it's 4,000 bushels of portable or infield storage. It allows the farmer to take it to, to the, um, the field and continue to harvest the combine continues to run, the grain cart continues to run, the trucks never have to stop. It's a it's a massive efficiency tool increase. So. Um, certainly some labor issues here, some in, some machinery issues that we, we can take care of. Yeah, one of the one of the things that or the main thing that this helps is is those guys that either want to make their farms more efficient or they want to reduce their labor. So it's always nicer to reduce a couple of trucks or a grain cart rather than try and find people that may not be suitably qualified to drive trucks or things like that. Yes. So uh, take us through some of the specs here and uh, you know, answer some of the questions that most of the farmers have here walking around kicking tires. Yeah, so first of all the question we get is, it, is it really 4,000 bushel? Yes, it's 4,000 bushel. We've had up to 4,600 bushel of wheat in it. So it's a genuine 4,000 bushel capacity, even in corn or anything else, Yeah, which is important. We have uh, options that include a four-way spout, a scale system, you know, lights, packages, the other additional things like that. We have a low unload package with the ability for it to unload into a hopper or a pit. So Dave, this is a big green cart. And I guess the question I have is, you know, how much power do you need to move this? Well, first of all, let's make sure that we get the concept correct. It's not a grain cart, it's portable storage, and it works in tandem with your grain cart. So a lot of people don't get that concept, but it sits on the end of the field, and that, for that reason, you only need, a, we recommend a 250, 300 horsepower tractor to tow it, because you're only ever moving it empty. It does have the ability to move partially loaded in the field if you want to shorten your um, grain cart cycle or change approaches for your trucks, but never on the road. So, right. so um, what about the investment here? I mean, like, if I'm only going to use it for a month, two, three months at tops, you know, that's a big investment. Yeah, it is a big investment. I mean, you also do that with your combine, but that is a good question because people say, what else can I use it for? We have farmers that store their seed in it. We have farmers that use it as a seed tender during during planting. If they have a farm a long way away, they can haul all their seed out there, and then they just have to haul fertilizer. Um, we have guys picking up grain bags with it uh, in the in the winter because it's so much more efficient. Because you can move it in the field when it's when you're loading it. So and then and then also unloading out of bins, multiple augers into the bin. You can hire if you're hiring trucks, they can come in and load them out and much much more efficient it's a little bit of a swiss army knife for the for the farm if you if you really put your mind to it and want to use it for different reasons tell me about um your footprint here and how this your company's grown where are you and are you coming to canada yeah we, we are so our, our footprint here is amazing we, we're based in south dakota we're a south dakota company everything is proudly made here in the usa and we have been spread from alabama north carolina um, texas all the way up the midwest north south dakota and then all the way across to Oregon. We actually have a couple units in Canada already, and we're looking to expand into Canada with our new dealer network and, and things like that, so, yeah. Tell me about um, where growers can find more information. Yeah, so the growers want to check us out at www.motherbin.com. You can get all the information there. There's our dealer locator on there. Also, you can call us directly and we can talk it through. Most guys, when we do a return on investment, finds this product will pay for itself for two to th in the first two to three years. It's good for 20 years. You won't break it. We overbuilt it. <laughs> good stuff, Dave. Uh, thanks for taking the time for Real Agriculture. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.